Oh. <laughs> is this for the music video? Yeah, this is for the music video. Oh, okay. Video. We, we prepared a routine. There it is. There, there it is. There it is. There it is. <laughs> you know, I didn't recognize you. Uh, in the beginning. Oh, you want what's in the middle? Beginning oh, and what's in the middle. What's in the middle? That's a good one. You gotta add that one. Yeah, yeah. Throughout that whole process, I was obviously there listening to the pieces of where he was going to go with this story and who he was thinking of and he wrote this movie for me. So I've kind of been hearing about it <laughs> ever since the, the beginning. even more impressed after working on it with him uh, that he could write so well. <laughs> yeah, this is good. such good dialogue that it makes you slip into those characters and the, that world so easily. A, it means that the, the set is happy, and B, it means that you all feel completely included in, in the fact that this film got made and in the way that it got made. I, I love the hug, but I'm saying, saying that, like, you need to show me the hug with the tilt. Yeah. I'm, 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 if it's last beat, I wonder if it's more powerful as you're hugging your mother if you look at the tilt. Okay. Hey, Mark. Baker. Well, a good person is about uh, a tragedy that occurs and how it changes the lives of these two families. And uh, the families are trying to grieve on their own, but a series of circumstances brings two of the key members together and um, they end up sort of saving each other from themselves. Because everybody else does the beginning and the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. You get one in the middle, that yeah, middle that sets you apart. You guys, uh, we'll let traffic flow in this back. <laughs> Throughout the film, you constantly see these two very fiery kind of a bit nutty women constantly make peace, make love with each other as people and then just abuse each other and throw each other away again. And of course, like, I don't know, I'm not a mum, but the position that, that Diane is in is incredibly tricky. When I was reading it too, I was picturing Morgan and Florence, who I already knew were in it. So that, that always makes it easier too when you can actually picture who's playing the characters. And um, I just thought it was such a beautiful story of, you know, redemption and forgiveness and just so beautiful. And I've also read a lot about the heroin, you know, dilemma, the Oxycontin abuse and the Sacklers. And um, I'm particularly interested in that, those stories. Action. It's interesting to work with the writer-director, uh, particularly when the writer is listening, or the director is listening. One of them listens, you know. sometimes it's difficult, but you know, Zach is terrific. Action!
Thompson's interest in music kind of withers as she withers. So at the beginning, we see her completely confident and completely full of life, and she's raring to go and ready to sing any song. I used to sing and create and write songs a whole lot more than I do now. The less I did it because I focused on acting or I focused on, you know, really trying to succeed in this industry, I, I left that. That's a cut. No, 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 no. Go Far away, and we get a long lens, mm -hmm. or you could be close to the camera and you get a wider lens. They kind of create a different vibe. Be careful. What's great about Zach is, you know, he's an actor, writer, director, so he really understands how to direct actors because he's an actor himself. So he just, you know, it's, it just makes it very comfortable because he kind of knows how actors think, so it feels very easy. Like if, if you were to say, oh, can I change this line to make it sound more natural? He's like, oh, do whatever you want because he understands an, an actor's process. <laughs> Florence's character sort of hits rock bottom and decides she needs to seek help and she has the courage to go and attend her first NAAA meeting and of all the meetings she picks in the world she picks the one where her would-be father-in-law is attending as well. Our two characters, Daniel and, and Alison, are constantly going head to head, whether it be their age is going head to head, whether, whether it be that they are uh, needing friendship in this part of their lives. They are both coming to each other with a need for some sort of love and some sort of validation in moving on with their lives. Why the f did you just do that? I thought it was gonna come alone. I didn't think it would bring her. I thought it would make you happy. You thought it would make me happy? And working with Morgan Freeman with doing that kind of matched both of our personalities perfectly. Um, you know, he's a legend. <laughs> Everybody has ultimate respect for him the moment he comes on set. Um, and he commands space and he commands power. And that is exactly how Daniel has possibly led his life as well. I'd work on it when I... I've got more time now that I've retired. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm I was such a fan of Florence already before I'm, you know, got to come and start the movie. But um what I was just saying to the hair and to my hair and makeup team was she's just so down to earth and funny and sweet and um just oh my gosh, she's so talented. So we did our first big scene yesterday and um she's just she's you know, she's just 
a fantastic girl. I always feel like it helps to get to know somebody first one-on-one -on -one before you do scenes with them, especially because I'm playing her mother and we have a, such an intimate relationship as mother-daughter. So um, she just she just makes that so easy. She's just a, an absolute joy. That's be one of the reasons I enjoy it, so. <laughs> Why, because you get to play God? I'd never worked with uh, any of these actors before, so uh, I'm sort of floored at uh, how good they all are. I mean, really, and Florence, of course, is, she's just amazing. You know, just turn stuff on, turn it off. I, I like that. She doesn't have to carry it around with her. Can I get a double tequila, please? 